Until recently, I thought that the Use Case Manager app did a very good job with uh, showing all the tactics and techniques of MITRE here with the intensity of the color depending on how many tactics do I have enabled. But boy, they added so many things that uh, I want to do a dedicated video just for that. But before I do that, let me actually tell you something that I experienced when I was installing it. When I installed the app, I, I did it the standard way. I'm not going to bother you with that. But I went straight to the app and I was getting some issues. Well, you need to go here on their configuration. And when I went there, there were some things here say in progress. So there was some indexing or something that it was actually doing. Uh, so wait until you, something looks like this. And it's not a bad idea to clear the, the cache for it, right? So once you're done, and also when I installed that, it offered me the option to get rid of what was called the Cyber Adversary Framework Mapping App. That's quite a name. And that is the old way in which you manage the mappings and you assign different tactics and techniques uh, to the different rules. Well, no longer you, you, you need that. So the, the app, the installation offered me the option to get rid of it. And I did take it. And that's why you don't see it in there. First of all, I'm going to start with here, the piece that I like the most. Uh, uh, one thing that you'll see constantly here, and I'm going to go more into all these options in it, is that they talk about report. And what report is, is this section in here. Okay, whatever you are performing the search. So let's say that I go into my favorite group of rules, which are Sysmon. I have them here. And I click Apply. And uh, I'm going to, uh, all the, all only the Sysmon rules show up in here. But notice that my map did not change. For example, you can focus on this drive-by compromise. This is not a, uh, and more on that later, this is not a technique that is covered by MITRE. Notice that if I flip the switch, show me only the ones that are here in the report that thing go and others goes away and i only have the sysmon ones in here so whatever this is again this is what I, whatever you are searching that shows up in here that's what they mean by the report let's actually dive into these options let's check this one detected in time frame in other words i don't know what that shows in there but i don't need it what I want to know is, on a specific period of time, how many uh, m rules that map the MITRE technique has actually been firing. And if you click here on the eye, you see in now in red, not in blue, and in the last 24 hours, these are the actual tactics that has been observed in it. And if I go, for example, last month, of course, that's gonna because I I, I do a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, attacks on the machines when I do the demos. Then uh, this is gonna show far many more techniques. Very nice to see back in time. Say, well, how are my rules? I mean, I know what I'm enabling, but are they working? Are they been firing on some things? It's a very cool addition to it. Let me actually uh, click back here on the use case manager and show you a few more things on this menu. Well, what you can also do is that you can export all the mappings that you have for MITRE by going into this option and put it into a JSON file. These are all of them. Or you can make an, a specific search and then export only the ones on that view. And of course, if you have rules from somebody else in that JSON format, you can import them as well. To close this uh, view here, you click on that I and here you are. So let me actually go back to my uh, Sysmon rules. Where are my groups? Here they are. Sysmon. and select only those. What you have the option now is to do bulk editing. If you have not done anything with, with uh, MITRE and you want to start mapping rules, well, if you go one by one, it's going to be a little bit uh, tedious. So that's what this icon here, the pencil, when you click in it, you get 
and I show part of this in the first video, but when I show it, for example, I'm going to select this one, I'm going to select uh, this one, and let's say maybe that one, right? And uh, I went here, opening Rules Wizard, but now you have the option to edit the MITRE mappings for all those just at once. For example, this one detected for your uh, Kerberos ticket. Well, it doesn't have a, a, a tactic, so let me add a tactic. What will tactic be? Well, I'm going to see, uh, I would say that this is uh, uh, credential access, right? So, click apply, and then what technique it's going to be here? Well, this is there's something on Kerberos here. I guess that is that Kerberos asking. So I'm going to apply that. I mean, this is an example. You set up what confidence do you have on it, and you decide whether it is enabled or not, and you can actually de uh, delete those techniques. So now you can go in bulk, make a search of the specific rules that are working in a specific area, and it's going to be a lot faster for you to add the mappings uh, for MITRE. And for documentation purposes, if you want, you can export mapping, and this is going to export, your in this particular case, those three. Remember that you have the option to export them all there. Okay. Now let's uh, cancel because I'm not going to be making changes in here. Another thing I like very much is look at all the options that now we have here on the columns. So these are the ones that are selected and you saw those there. But notice that there are a bunch that has to do with MITRE. You can show the tactic at the rule level. And, and this has to do with whether you, you want to know, I'm more on, I think that there's an option that I, that I saw there, I'm going to explore it together with you, that, that it, when, I, when I see something working in mind, I say, well, what does it come? Come from a building block, from, from that rule that I'm looking at, or come from another rule that is uh, the, the related to this one? So you can actually uh, see those things. But notice that you can select all those uh, fields. And uh, this shows the tactic ID. So, so from my MITRE assigns numbers to all the tactics and techniques. You can actually show those, and these are standard. You know, you can, for example, let's, let's actually select all, all those, and I'm going to come back to this menu later, and you see that uh, you get uh, that information, the tactic, and the tact. Th those are the numbers I was mentioned to you that are. Uh, standard in MITRE. Let's actually go back here and take some of those out now that we have seen them and show you some other more some more. And uh, mapping enable. And, and these are actually very interesting because out of my all the rules that I have here from Sysmo, maybe not all of them are are enabled. You can actually show the mapping, the confidence, you can show the source. Let's actually apply those two. And you'll see that these are the one thing is to have the rule enabled or not. And if the rule is not enabled, it's not going to contribute to the blueness of the of the map that we show you before here on cover HMR run report. So if the rule is not enabled, obviously it's not going to be there. But if the rule is not map, obviously it cannot contribute either. Okay. So that is what uh, these two columns mean in there. And here the mapping source, you see that, you know, w where does that specific thing come? For, for example, this rule, uh, the mapping comes from a building block. In this particular case, it is the very same rule, as you can see here. That is not easy to see unless you have this uh, visibility into this uh, view. Of, of course, you have still the, the option that was in previous version in which you can go into a specific rule and you can actually go and you can edit the MITRE mappings. I don't have any mapping in here. I'm going to find one that has mappings because there's something cool that the developers did in here as well. But uh, you can, if you prefer to go and edit the mappings from here, well, you can actually do it as, as before. But let me find, let me pause the video, find a rule that has a mapping because I think you're going to like what you'll see. So let's go to this particular rule. And we advance here, that's the introduction for the review. Notice that, as I mentioned in the first video in here, you can actually show reference sets in different color, custom properties, and log sources also here. So it's pretty cool. 
So let's continue. And here on the miter, I'm going to expand on the miter. And notice that you have the tactics and technique, and you can actually hover and see more details of it. Right? The mapping source, you see it in there. It's from the same rule we see it there. And this one is, is the same. The confidence and high, and the, and the tactic is execution. So you have that. I don't think that we have that in the previous. At, at least I don't remember seeing it. The previous version of the use case manager app. Very nice. If you are an FSSP that you use Curator to serve several customers with the same instance, with all the good separation that you have, uh, you can do the same thing now with MITRE. You can go on the rule test. There should be a domain option here. Yeah. And you can actually s select the, the particular domain and you'll have the MITRE view because that's, that's going to be then your report. And you can actually see how company X, Y, and Z are doing in terms of MITRE. Another nice detail, actually, let me get a, the actual view of the MITRE coverage. That's when you hover on any one of these uh, techniques, notice that this little icon that is in the ear, regardless of whether it's enabled or not, uh, this thing, uh, I click in it. Or is refreshing. So when you click here, it's going to take you to the MITRE page that describes the details. In case that you don't have fresh the, you know, what is it that that implies? You have that easy link in there. And finally, to keep this video short, if you go to the admin, you can access the API. You can be an API. You can access all these mappings and all these details, and you can exercise the actual. API from here.